hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of oni of ife allegedly oh, my people they said the king has been crying out loud you know it's not as if she's and uh, he's saying hey, hey, hey. but there's a way that a man who laments you know you will know that uh, he is really in pain uh, we do know that uh, they said uh, on 17th, 17th should be tomorrow, Oni of Ife will be celebrating his birthday. And this is a moment that he is supposed to be happy, enjoy, and thank God for adding another year to him. Despite the bad goods that has been going on in his life, you know, but God still bless him with another year. So he is supposed to be happy and then uh, enjoy the day you know but from the look of things from the way things are moving is i will not say that he is regretting that his birthday is forthcoming but he is wishing that uh, uh, it will be like the previous one or even better because we do know that they said the last birthday he celebrated in a very big way when nomi was there with prince tadenikao and they said it on that very day the way Kwinomi was raising praises as an, on him, the way he was, eh, she was praising her husband, blessing her husband, as an everyone, those people that are not married, while watching those videos, they were like, hey, 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 so we that are not married, what do you expect us to go and do? My people, they said eh, the last birthday that the king celebrated with Kwinomi and Prester Denika was something else. And... Uh, this is expected by this year, it is expected to be better than you know. But the way it is, I don't know, I cannot just tell you know. And they said the king have uh, invited all his children and the mother of his children and his friends and well wishers. He also invited Queen Naomi and the uh, Prince Tadenikao. But if Prince Tadenikao and Queen Naomi will attend the birthday party, is what we don't know and we cannot actually say that yes they can come or they cannot come so the king was like what have i even done to myself i married i married all these women ever since i got married to all these women my life have never been the same in as much as i must have increased in one way or the other in terms of finance and all of that but my happiness have it really increased have i enjoyed a peaceful moment ever since i started gathering all these women in my palace they said the king was like if i can uh, turn them a hand, hand of time turn back the hands of time I, I i would have done better you know so and we do know that recently they said the king had a, a high blood pressure allegedly now so we hear them so and it was said that uh, one of the reasons as when the their family doctor arrived the palace when that happened that he, he the doctor told them that it is as a result of of a stress and uh, when their mind is not settled so it simply means that his mind is not settled and he's receiving a lot of bad goods woto woto from all these uh, old cargoes who are supposed to pamper him like a mother someone like Ronke and Mariam whom I'm sure that they are older than the king, you know, they are supposed to take good care of him and know that uh, he has a lot to cater for, he has a lot to think about. Let me tell you, it's not easy to be a, to be a king, a first class, uh, first class king at that, you know, that alone is a very big, uh, well, let's say, obligation and duty to carry on, you know. So, and I believe from what we are hearing that he married all these other women because of uh, duties, stuff, and all of that. Believing that when Nomi alone cannot do it, you know, go to this one, handle this one, and all of that. You know, that is what we are hearing allegedly. From hearing that they are a wife to this one, we don't know which one to believe or not. So, but instead of them to come and help the king in relieving uh, him of some duties, they are adding more. They, as in the kind of the ones they are adding on top of the one on his head already is too much because with all these uh bad schools, trouble here and they're settling issues for them every now and then is a very big uh, job on its own i recall that some time ago uh, 
we, we heard allegedly that the king told the women that he is called by his people to serve his people, that he is not called to come and gather women and be settling issues for women every now and then. That this thing they are doing to him is getting out of hand, that is, is making him uh, to be restless and um, unhappy. And we do know that when Queen Naomi was in the palace, uh, the king is always happy. Yes, he's always happy. When things like this birthday party that is com coming up now, you will see the preparation, you will see him, all, everybody will be happy. Everyone will be happy. But this time around, yeah. All these women, mm-hmm, well, they, well, they, they said the king was, there was a, how would I put it, thinking aloud in, in a very moody uh, mood. <laughs> I don't even know how to, in a very sad mood, you know. What exactly have I done to myself? What, where have I gone wrong? Is it, am I the first that have married more than one wife? Why is my case different? Why is it that these women cannot see that I am not happy? Why can't see, they see that I need happiness? I need peace of mind. You know, but they are not giving it to him. They are not giving him the peace of mind. They were busy fighting themselves. Fighting with Nami that is not even fighting them. My people. You know, if Queen Naomi should honor this invitation and come for this birthday party with Prince Tadenikawa, the king will increase uh, in as much as God have added another year to his age. To him, it will be 100 years upon what God just added to him. But one has to be careful, especially when you are dealing with uh, people like those uh, honorees in the palace, you know. So Queen Naomi needs to be very careful. And that is why a lot of people are suggesting that... Uh, it will not be good for Prester Denikawa to go there because you don't know what they have planned. And some prophecies have been going on that Queen should be very careful uh, about taking Prester Denikawa to that palace and all of that. So with all this, we don't know which one to uh, stand on again. But all I pray for the king is that God will restore happiness to him. That God is going to give him reason to smile tomorrow that he will celebrate his birthday. That is my earnest prayer for him. You know, God uh, have different way of giving someone peace of mind. May God grant him peace. May God give him peace and the happiness in abundance. Or give him a solution to all these bad goals. Or give him the highest solution that he can use to settle the, uh, whatever issue that he has with Queen Naomi. Even if Queen Naomi did not return back to the palace, they can uh, reside another place or maybe in Lake or any other place and Queen Naomi will start making babies because they still need babies you know guys that's my opinion I don't know what you think please whatever you think about it share with us on the comment section don't forget that they are all alleged information okay always bear that in mind thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support give this video a thumbs up and share it my god will bless you bye for now love you guys